So one of the main pre-med tests you need to take to get into certain medical schools, not all medical schools actually require this test, the CASPER test is making changes again in 2025-2026. So I'm going to talk briefly about this test and what the upcoming changes are. So what is the CASPER test? Well, reading right from the test maker's website, they state, CASPER is an online open response situational judgment test. It asks what you would do in a tough situation and more importantly, why. This helps determine behavioral tendencies of applicants pursuing people-centered professions. So this test is not only to get into certain medical schools, but you can take this test for PA schools. They take this test in other countries. So this is a test a lot of students have to take. You get scored on a percentile ranking and we'll go a little bit into scoring as well, but let me just tell you the quick changes that will be taking place. So as of 2024, 2025, the way the test worked, it was there was video responses and then typed responses, which is already a change because it used to only be typed responses when I took this test. Now, as it currently stands for 2024, 2025, you're supposed to read two word-based scenarios and then give a video response and then watch four video-based scenarios and give video responses. So that's a total of six video responses. And then you will read three word-based scenarios and give the typed response to those and then watch five video-based scenarios and give a typed response to those. So that's another eight typed responses, a total of 14 scenarios in which the test is 90 to about 110 minutes long. Well, good news, if you don't like longer tests, they're actually shortening that in 2025, 2026. So now the way it's gonna work is there's gonna be four video response scenarios and each scenario will ask you two open-ended questions and you will have one minute to record your response for each of those two questions. Then there will be seven typed responses and you're gonna get a scenario each which has two open-ended questions as well. You will have 3.5 minutes to respond to both of those open-ended questions. So it seems like they've definitely simplified the exam for 2025-2026, made it a little bit shorter and overall we will have to wait and see how this plays out. Now, the same as before, the test is scored by individual human raters that are trained for each specific scenario. You usually will get your score within a few weeks and you will get a quartile score. Not all medical schools require CASPER, but there will be some schools that you might want to apply to that do require it. And if so, make sure to take the test.